Have you ever met the following problems during BGA rebolling? Trying to rebel BGA but the team balls float above rebolling stencils. Our solder paste just flow on BGA and doesn't shape balls, or even damage the rebolling stencils. For rookie repairmen, how to complete a perfect BGA rebolling is a big headache. Now let's see how a repair master handle rebolling job. Today we choose the Apple A11 CPU as an example to demonstrate, and here are the tools we need for BGA rebolling. During BGA rebolding, the humidity of solder paste will decide the rebolding effect directly. So the first step we need to do is adjusting the humidity of solder paste. Generally speaking, if the solder paste is too watery, we can absorb it with the tissue. Repeat it until we satisfy with the humidity. Align rebolding stencils with the CPU solder joints carefully. This requires lots of practice for rookie. After humidity adjusting, press stencils tightly. Fill solder paste into all stencil grids evenly with metal scraper and scrape to appropriate thickness. Adjust the thread hot air again to 300 Celsius degree and the airflow to 30. Preheat rebolding stencils. And start blow soldering from one side. Along with the team melting, keep blow soldering forward until all solder paste melt into team balls. When tin balls cooling down, we can take off CPU from stencils. If the CPU tin balls are not running enough, we can apply some solder flux. Blow solder again and clean with PCB cleaner. Then we complete the CPU rebolting perfectly. And let's do this again on iPhone 6 main power IC. Matching. Fill solder paste. Blow soldering. Take off main power IC. At the last, it's tapes on BGA rebolding that we must pay attention to. First, adjust the solder paste to proper humidity. Secondly, fill the solder paste evenly with the appropriate thickness. Thirdly, keep pressing stencils tightly from fitting solder paste until completing the blow soldering. Then the tin balls could be complete, even, and slim. What if the tin balls are already float or unshaped on rebolding stencils? First, don't try to remove floating tin balls with tweezers. This will damage stencils probably. Next, we can blow solder floating tin balls until it melt and then remove stencils.
In the end, Dr. O residual salt paste from BGA. Then we can start reboiling again. Thanks for watching, and next we will launch more repair scale video cars. Please subscribe our channel and stay tuned for more updates.